We should hurry, but but here's something you should know about Michigan and Tex. They're not gonna trust you. It's nothing personal. They're just not. Oh, come on. I'm trustworthy, right? Think of who they deal with every day. Criminals, other killers, nobody nice. Being slow to trust is a critical job skill for them. Just keep that in mind. Slow to trust doesn't mean impossible to trust. Just, yeah. Okay, you've been warned. Let's go. Actual human skeletons? Yeah. M and T hang on to the bodies of the real scumbags they take down. Like trophies, but don't feel bad for those bones. They belong to monsters. Pure dirt. Every one of them. And these are your friends? Yeah, yeah. Okay, knock on the door before I'm convinced one of these things moved. And hurry, we really shouldn't be out in the open for too long. Is that Sarah? Yeah. your driver? Yeah, that, that's Beckett. Look, so we need to get everyone on the phone pronto. And I mean everyone, yes, even him. So, uh, hey, so, yeah, so just let's call everyone up and... Hey! What? When was the last time you peed? What? When was the last time you peed or changed your contacts or just, you know, breathed? I don't know. How about you go do all three? Not simultaneously, unless, you know, you want to. And then we'll do the call and sort out the wash, okay? Okay, yeah. Bathroom's upstairs, second on the left. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, hi? That's a big coat you got on there. Big coat. You ever seen a coat that big? Never seen a coat that big. I mean, come on. I'm a big guy. Don't have too much say in the matter. It's just such a big coat, boss. Big coats can hide... What can they hide, Tex? All sorts of stuff, Michigan. Wallets, keys, knives, guns. So the question is, what's yours hiding? Hey, I hear tough talk. Behave down there, you two. Beckett's cool. He offered to give me a lift over here, so, you know, I owe him one. Yeah, fine. Okay. It's still a big coat. Hall of Fame? Some of our latest and greatest. That is a lot. That's just this year. Who's your friend? You play guitar? Nope. Yeah, me neither. Take it with you, poke at it for a while, see if you pick up a chord or two. Learn a new skill. Keeps your brain nice and electric, you know? Won't its owner miss it? Well, if he starts complaining, I'll rip his jaw off. My gift to you. More like yawn. We bust murderers twice weekly, at least. You can take that if you wanna. Already logged the info in our ship. Whoa, is that Sarah? Oh my god, her glasses. Take it with you if you want. We got copies. The glory and horror of Sarah's adolescent glasses should never be forgotten. Hey, so... Hey, so... So, how do you two know Sarah? We all grew up together. All dropped out of school together. So, I'm gonna keep this short, tall guy. You're helping out our friend. We like that, but we don't know you. And we don't like that. Something's gotta be done about that. Post haste. Well then, get to know me. Yes, let's. So, look, there's this uh, metric, I guess, that I used to gauge people. We're all garbage, right? Like, everybody alive, uh, ever, right? Of course, right. Oh yeah, totally. Right? 
dumpster sibling, every last one of us. So yeah, we're all garbage, but sometimes garbage has like, you know, hairs and crap like that. So it's not 100% completely garbage. So what would you say is your personal garbage percentage? Give me a number. God's honest. Come on. Uh, I'd say maybe about 62%. Yeah, that's, that's pretty standard garbage rates. Maybe you're an honest sack of mostly trash. Okay, so Sarah's garbage percentage is dizzying. So all I'm going to say to you, Mr. 62, is be careful. If you guys are going to continue doing business, then I'd suggest that in doing said business and shooting the breeze, in all things conscious, be careful. Hmm. You're all right, huh? I think so. I think so, too. Better? Better. Want to get everyone on the horn? You bet. They need a group call button on this damn thing. Hang on. Uh, who exactly are we calling? The most dangerous hunter killers in the universe. You know, our friends and colleagues. Where's Zeb? Not answering. Shocker. Oh well. Hey guys. Who's the big guy? You. Big and tall. Identify. I'm helping out Sarah. That's <laughs> so. I'd hang on to your receipts. I've only allotted two and a half minutes to this call. I would suggest increasing speed. I appreciate the sacrifice. So, look. Edward is in trouble. Again. Correct, Phobos. Got it. Uh, got it in one there. Would you say he takes after his mother in that way? Nobody answered that. Eddie ripped off the screamers. Took their jump drive. You're yanking me! Ha! Kid's got stones. Never would have guessed, given where he comes from and all. Jump drive? Never heard of it. It's how the Screamers stay on top of their sector. Everyone else has to use basic propulsion engines, but the Screamers zip around at light speed. Hard to chase after the guy who robbed you when he's flying away at 300 million miles per second. They put a bounty on the jump drive's return. Big one. Though, I'm asking for a favor. If you guys run across him, please, just please take the drive from him and call it a day. The bounty is just as good if you only return the jump drive. It doesn't need an accompanying corpse. We all owe each other something. Consider me square on anything owed to me if you help me out on this one. Deal? Agreeable. Swell. Yeah, I'm out in deep space in a hunt, so don't expect much from me, if anything. That doesn't surprise me. That surprise any of you? Hey, Goliath, when we want to hear something useless, we'll point. Fine, Wrench. Don't uh, actively help, but drop a line if you see him. I'll think about thinking about it. Okay, that's it. Uh, thanks. Go away. Gladly. Unsolicited advice for you, sir. Jolly Green over there? He clearly ain't cut out for this kind of work. I'd drop him like rotten garbage. Toss him out. Remember when we all asked for your opinion? Yeah, neither do I. Just saying, sir. You ain't exactly bad a thousand when it comes to business partners. I'd hate to see that average drop deeper. So, will you guys help out? Duh. Double duh. How about you, Becca? Still don't mind carting me around? I promise, I pick up after myself. Can I collect on the payday, too? If we get to him first, it's all yours and a tenner on top. Giddy up. So, did they behave enough, at least? Or, like, halfway to enough? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Really? This soon and you're lying to me? Shame, shame, shame. So, we got two places we should probably go. There's Sinclair's Garage. It's a chop shop where Eddie used to take his bike to get worked on. Or, we can check out his apartment. M&T can check out wherever we don't go. What'd you think? They're both in the same direction, more or less. About the same distance, too. Let's see the chop shop. Then bid adieu, and after you. So howdy do. Did you hate him? I didn't hate him. I didn't hate him. We didn't hate him, but most importantly, we didn't kill him. Yet. Yet. Plenty of time for that. More than plenty. Such generosity. The night is young, big coat. We're gonna head to Sinclair's. You guys swing by Eddie's place. Okay. 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 And keep us posted? Yep. 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 Come on, Becca. This feels good, Sarah. Like the old days. Yeah, we miss hunting with you. Those were... Uh, not having this conversation again, again, again. Come on, Becca. You used to be a bounty hunter? Not having this conversation with you either. We are leaving.
Okay, so we told your friends we'd check out, uh... Sinclair's garage, where Eddie worked. But, I don't know. I'm thinking now, maybe we should go to his fireside instead. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but maybe I'm just too fractious right now. Let's, uh, let's just stick to what we agreed on. Why change things up, you know? Yeah, sounds good. Next stop, Sinclair's Body Shop, a.k.a. The Sink, also a.k.a. The Toilet. Do you have a kitchen, or just something to make coffee? We have both, which we can happily show you on the tour. I don't need a tour. Sure you do. How else will you know where anything is? Once I know where the coffee machine is, I don't need to know anything else. No, 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 don't be silly. Let's... we'll do the tour. It's been a long day, Cody. She's probably pretty tired. I'm not tired. I'm not tired. It's fine. I need to know where I'm sleeping anyway. So Beckett can lead while I navigate. Just as soon as the tour commences. When is the... And welcome to the tour! I am Cody, Beckett's mechanically sentient mobile spacecraft. This, where you're standing, is the cockpit or coxswain station, where all the manual steering and comm links are handled. So if you'll just head stern side, or left, I guess, depending on how you're facing, we can continue the tour down into my bowels. This is what we like to call the pinboard room, but there's nothing really interesting to say about it. Yes, Cody finds it redundant, since sometimes I like to tack up things I've done here, or stuff I want to do. You know, places I want to check out, or whatever. Yes, which is odd, since I can and do retain all of that information. But let's continue downstairs, shall we? Package room. Job stuff. Side note. As our Apex, Beckett would ship up to and including two packages a week. Uh, impressive. Uh-huh. And to the right is the reactor and fueling charge station, controls to the cooling system, and also where we keep my brain. How often do you erase its memory? I don't. Erasing my recent learnings every 36 hours would effectively negate my personality. Yeah, that's the point. You're not supposed to have a personality. But whatever, guys. Uh, on a more important topic, I haven't spotted a coffee machine yet. Let's continue upstairs. So this area is Beckett's sleeping quarters. But you can have it for now. I, I can take the couch upstairs. Oh, uh, okay. Nothing of interest ever happens here. Oh, really? I mean, how interesting is a mammal's sleeping pattern anyway? Depends on the mammal. Yeah, Cody, give me a break here. Can we let a little mystery play out before... Continuing upstairs? We have the kitchen. Coffee. And the lounge area. Don't get too excited. I won't. Landing and the water closet. Reading note. And here's where the kitchen is, for the foodstuffs. Further to the right, at the bow, is the lounge, where we watch the two movies Beckett's found. Oh, and connected to that is our bathroom. Our bathroom? His bathroom. Your bathroom. I don't need a bathroom. Uh-huh. Okay. And where is the coffee? I'll make you a cup. It's on the sink over here. So... What do you think? I noticed a coolant leak under the ballast stairs, but other than that, yep, you're a ship. Yes, that is true. It's more than just a ship, Sarah. Cody's been my home, my, my fireside for a while now. Oh, no. You're a sentimentalist. It's okay, though, I understand. It's a good scow, and I'm thankful to be here. Now, how about that coffee? If you please. Do 
you grow your own beans? No, there's a depot near Rigel I go to once a year. All they do is coffee and radishes. Uh-huh, the peanut butter jelly combo of beans. So, just so it's out in the open about your bite of the bounty, if Tex, Michigan, or any of the rest get to Eddie before us, I'm not sure how large your portion of it'll be. So, just so there's no whining about it in the future. If we don't get him first, this might be a waste of your time. Well, we'll just have to get to him first then, won't we? Well, we can try, but those guys have been hunting for a good long while now. And I've been out of the game, and you're new, so I just want the warning on the record. You might not get anything out of this but a story. Cheers. So, we still have some time before we get there. Yeah, yeah, I, just, uh, I think I just need to decompress for a second. But, uh, holler if you want to watch a movie or something, I guess. Cody, let me know when we're ten out. Affirmative. He's a little... naughty. With a K. Egocentrically speaking, not physically. But anyways, while we continue to hurtle through space, you can water your plants, practice that newfangled guitar, run diagnostics on my personality fields. Ah, <sighs> okay. Sounds good. Thanks, Cody. Welcome as always. You ever had a lesson? Uh, no. But I used to have one I barely touched. It got stolen a couple years ago. Tex and Michigan were in a... I guess band is too... It makes them sound too competent. They played together before they started hunting. But there's a lot more coin in that, so... What do you uh, think of them, anyway? They, uh... I, I mean, I don't know them very well, but they, they seem like good friends. They can be. Practice a little more and we won't need the radio. Yeah, maybe I'll keep at it. Cody, can you tell Sarah I'm going to watch a movie if she wants to join? Sarah, Beckett's putting on a movie if you want to watch with him. What kind of movie? Uh, it's, uh, it's mostly action. A uh, thriller. Mostly action. A thriller. Be right there. Wait, I thought he was the bad guy. He is the bad guy, but the other bad guys don't like him either. Oh. Didn't they show his oxygen levels were like at 4% or something? Uh, yeah, I think. He'd be chewing his fingers off from hypoxia psychosis if that were true. How do you know? I just know. Man, that's nuts. Who'd you see go crazy? <laughs> no one you know or ever would know. I can't hear over the commentary, guys. What'd that girl say? <sighs> I'll rewind. No! no! Wow, that blew. I, I mean, I I thought the I thought the girl was pretty good. Her accent came and went, but yeah, sure. Okay, well, thanks for that. Let me know when you want to watch another one. Not right now, but you know, later. That should hold you over.
Want to run my diagnostics? It'll help update my identity drives and keep us in sync with what behavior you deem appropriate or inappropriate, among other things. Uh, yeah, we got some time. Let's do it. Running diagnostics processor, self-analysis systems, updating to 67.8E. So, you agreed to help Sarah back at the bar despite not knowing who she was and potentially putting yourself in danger. Configuring empathy systems. You told Sarah and her friends you would aid their search for a portion of the hefty bounty. Adding expanded definition to commitment, comma, reasons for. Ah, uh, here's something. What, without having met the lad, do you think of Eddie currently? Uh, Eddie? I think he's probably... When I think of who he is, what he's doing, right now, he's probably just really scared. Or probably regretting the decisions he made that led him to where he is. Does that help? Definitely. Configuring empathy systems. Alrighty, all done, Beckett. Thanks. This will help me adjust to whatever future situational or ethical disagreements that may arise. Alert, alert, this is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. Gather your things, kiss your loved ones goodbye, because we are at our destination. Please proceed to the nearest exit at your earliest convenience. Here we are, Sinclair's Body Shop. Everybody hold hands, we have a buddy system here. You don't have to hold my hand. Yeah, I know. Enjoy your stay, and bring me back something, but only if you really want to. All right, let's see what they know about Eddie. 